you've been in a rut, this will take you out of it. This will work. If your manifestations haven't been working, this will work. If, you're man if you've been putting too much pressure on the outcome and you can't let go, this will work work hi guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is ingrid and here we talk about spirituality self-development fitness and so much more whatever else i want to talk about um two things first my hands are really orange and i'm kind of low-key orange i tried this new tan which by the way is actually really good it's like a sticky formula though but it didn't flare up my eczema it's like a natural tan it's called um three warriors I'm gonna put like a little thing on it if y'all wanna try it, if you're a fake tan girly, because it is really good. Like, it actually, obviously, um, I should have washed my hands, I didn't. But <laughs> besides that, okay, besides that, it's really good. It's really, really good. So, today, we are talking about the what if technique to manifest your desires. I, let me just say this I have known and used this technique on and off for about well, I found out about it in 2016, and I've been using it on and off for however many years that is, okay? Th that was a long time ago now, which is crazy, because I low-key still feel like that just happened. Like, it was just whatever. And let me tell you, this has been an insane... Whenever I want something and I have a little bit of doubt, I use this, te I use this technique because it's so much more lighter. It feels so much easier. You can do it where whenever, wherever. My favorite thing to do... My favorite place to do this technique in is in the shower because whenever we have thoughts in the shower, I feel like a lot of us tend to like spiral and we're thinking of negative things that have happened and then all of a sudden our bodies are feeling the emotions of those things again and that is not what we want. That is not what we want. So guys, this technique is so simple. All you have to do is ask yourself the manifestation that you want in a what if sentence so let me explain this rather than putting it out there as if you already have it because a lot of people they struggle with that right and they can't quite understand and, and feel the emotions of that you would just say what if i really was driving a tesla what if i really was a successful entrepreneur what if i was in a relationship of my dreams what if all of that's really happening for me right now? So whatever manifestation it is, you literally just pose it as a question. And as you're doing that, you're feeling the emotions still of having that because that feels good, right? We always tend to say, what if that goes wrong? But what if this goes wrong? Because we have so much anxiety usually about random shit that hasn't even happened. Worst case scenario, we catastrophize. We're humans. We do that shit. So rather than going to the what if worst case, we're going to go to the best case. So find a place where you feel relaxed. That's why I say do it in the shower. Do it in your bed before you sleep. Do it somewhere where you're relaxed and it's quiet and you're not going to be disturbed. Take a deep breath in and out and start asking yourself questions you can do this with however many manifestations you want i would say because if you want to really focus on one and you really want to see it coming maybe just do the one so i'm going to use a relationship example and pose a few different questions you guys can write these down if you want um you can just use them as a guide as well it doesn't really matter what questions you ask they just have to be what if questions and it has and you have to feel the emotions of having that thing still just like any manifestation intention and emotion have to align okay so for a relationship example i would say what if i really was in the relationship of my dreams what if whoever really was my boyfriend what if i feel so happy now that i'm in that relationship what if that was the best relationship for me? What if whoever really loves me as much as I love them? What if this relationship brings out the best in me? What if I bring out the best in this person? What if this relationship is meant to be? What if this relationship is going to work out forever? What if this is the relationship that changes my life for the better? There are so many different types of questions you can ask yourself. Literally any. It doesn't matter if it's present or past tense, whatever the fuck. 
just ask what if and feel the emotions as if it was happening now as if you're in that relationship right now as if you were an entrepreneur right now as if you had a successful business right now as if you were driving the dream car right now all of those all of those things just need to be posed as what if questions and you feel the emotions of it it's so simple guys and let me tell you something i have used this when i've been feeling stuck i really think this is a really good manifestation if you've been manifestation technique if you've been in a rut because when you get stuck in a rut for some time you don't really see a way out of it you can't just think positively out of it it's very difficult right technically you can but Practically, it's difficult. It's quite difficult. And so when we lighten it a little bit and we pose it as what if rather than it is, it's a little bit easier for you to actually start believing it and embodying the feelings of already having that manifestation because you're still setting that intention out because you're thinking about that thing and you're feeling the emotions of having that thing anyways because when you ask yourself, well, what if this really did happen? You kind of feel so excited and happy about it just the same way when you go oh but what if that goes wrong and you kind of feel and you kind of feel anxious and stressed it's the same thing but we're just going to the positive side not the negative one so if you've been feeling like shit this manifestation technique will get you out of it i have literally used this when i've been at my lowest points especially when i was like 17 18 just to manifest anything i wanted like little things big things bigger things and honestly, it's worked every single time. It has worked every single time. There's so many little memories I have of this manifest, of me doing this in the shower. And then even just the next day, I was like, oh my God, that actually just happened. Because I would use this for a lot of different things. And you guys can. I would just recommend doing it like separately. So you're asking what if about your relationship, blah, 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 blah. And then if you want to do it again the next day, you can do it about something else because you know, you've already done the other thing. But just know it's coming and expect the unexpected, but you just know it's coming. Because the way manifestations work, it's never really the way we expect them to, right? Because where's the fun in it that way? The universe always takes care of the how, you take care of the what, and you trust. So this what if technique kind of takes the pressure of really knowing that it's there because you're already embodying the feeling of it being there while you're doing the manifestation. So make sure you're relaxed, find a comfortable spot, pose the what if questions, feel the emotions, let it go, forget about it, go have a nap, go hang out with your friends, go watch a random YouTube video that has nothing to do with it. Don't keep consuming the same type of content because that's just gonna, rem like, that's just gonna keep reminding you of it and you don't want that. You just wanna go about your day knowing that, oh yeah, what if that really did happen? And once you've embodied it, it will feel like it's already happened and you move on. You just move on. You don't stress about it anymore. Um, we don't wanna stress what if worst case scenarios after that. We just wanna go about our days and let it happen. Let it happen because it's happening. I'm telling you, it has happened to me every time I've used this manifestation. Even if it wasn't the exact same thing that I've wanted, it was better. And also, it was still in the same lines. Like, it was still, like, the same kind of thing. It would just be better. Like, okay, I'm going to give one example that was, like, super random. I manifested a text from a specific person, but I didn't even use my text manifestation um, technique. I actually used this one. And I actually... I, this was like a random person I had a crush on way back and I didn't think about manifesting a text I was just wanting that person to get in contact with me so I used the what if technique and like I just went about my day because I didn't care too too much it was like a crush like whatever I was like 16 17 who cares and then it happened like they got in they they texted me but I didn't picture a text I was like what if we do start dating blah blah, blah like all that kind of shit like whatever i was basically using like the relationship examples similar i don't exactly remember obviously um and then yeah we got in contact did i date that person no did i realize they that was not it for me yeah but this is what i mean by something better something better will happen because while i did get in contact with them and you know in a sense it did happen I also did notice like, oh yeah, I actually don't want that. Because sometimes that happens, right? Sometimes that happens. The universe will always reveal that kind of stuff to you, you know, if there's something better. That's why I say expect the unexpected, but just know this technique works every time. And it has worked for 
super specific things and I've gotten exactly that as well. So just know sometimes it's like that and sometimes it's exactly what you want. But always, always, always it is for your best interest. It's always happening for you and not to you. We know that. We know that. And I'm never going to stop saying that, okay? So much shorter video today, guys, but that is it for the what if technique. Once again, I'm just going to sum it up. Find a place where you feel very relaxed in. Take a deep breath in and out to further relax yourself. What if? Pose the what if questions about your manifestations. Embody those emotions. Let it go. Go do something else. And as I've said it many times before, if you've been in a rut, this will take you out of it. This will work. If your manifestations haven't been working, this will work. If, you're man if you've been putting too much pressure on the outcome and you can't let go, this will work work all right thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video bye